music chair. I love music. What do you think about music? Uh, I think music's the, the, the lifeblood of the universe. You know, what's your favorite type of music right now? Dubstep. What's that? What's your favorite type of music right now? Hip hop. Do you watch American Idol? I uh, don't. No. no. I want, well, I, yeah, I like hip hop, but like, I, I think I'm kind of converting uh, to country. You're converting to country music? Yes, it's because of American Idol. Is this girl still on the show? She is, I hope she is. Do you think if she was voted off that the judges would save her? She, they can't. She is the best. They've had they had one for the year and they used it. They used it. Yep. They should have saved it for her, right? Yes. She is the best. I don't think that girl, the, the little, I don't know what she is. Now you're against her. You were all for her before oh, this girl. She's a good, she seems great, but like I think that country girl is just unbelievable. Mm-hmm. So maybe she's not gonna get voted off. Let's hope not. So don't say they they shouldn't have. Never mind. This isn't even about American Idol. What it's is not. This, what is this about? What are we talking this about? This is our top albums of the week segment, Jared. And by this week, we're meaning last week? No, that was, that's the ratings. This is actually this week. Oh, sweet. Maybe, maybe, maybe the music, too. I'm, I'm not sure. Sweet. Bonnie Raitt came in number 10 with uh, Slipstream. Bonnie Raitt. Country album singer. Country mm -hmm. music singer. She sings albums, obviously. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. I haven't heard Bonnie Raitt's name in a long time. So, well, do you see how long she's been on this? Nope, nope. I'll I'll open up the Billboard page. Bonnie Raitt. Raitt. Is my husband available for two seconds? I'm sure you could tell me some Bonnie Raitt songs, and I would know what they are. I uh, just seen that. I'm in a hurry and don't know why I'm rushing, rushing. Are you asking me? Yeah, did she sing that song? I have no clue. Did you? If you told me. Yeah, she did. She sung that song. Uh, future with Pl uh, Pluto. Future. I'm going to download. You like Future? I'm glad you reminded me. I'm going to download this. I like Future. Baby. You know, baby. Baby. Headphones. Baby. What? Headphones. Okay. Sorry. You know Future, right? No. Voila. Magic. Voila. <laughs> magic. Uh -huh. Right. He's number nine. Wow. That's big. That's big time. Give me, give me, give me future. Should have been number one. Gautier with making mirrors is at number number seven. I heard somebody on my Facebook say that Gautier's song, someone that I used to know, was like, yeah. "That's a terrible song." Yeah, Gautier is definitely getting a lot of hate since her appearance on SNL. Uh -huh. it seems like popular culture turned their back on Gautier. Well, you're gonna get the natural hater effect. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my whole thing is, uh, I don't care who you are, I'm sorry, you can't hate that song, you can't, it's just, no offense to Eddie, who's the biggest Gautier fan in the world now, I think that this is, gonna, you're never going to hear from these people again, this guy, this woman, whatever Yeah, Gautier you know, I, I, I went back and looked at uh, some of their previous albums, and nowhere near as good as this album, so, I could be caught up in the uh, fever pitch, you know, uh, insanity. You'll I'll, never I'll hear, you'll never hear from Gautier again, but this is a nice song for 2012, and, uh, yeah. We'll all enjoy hearing it again for the next the, 30 the, years. The entire album is, is awesome, not just this one song, but they could be a one-hit wonder. I, I, I'll, I'll concede that point to you, Jared, and to, to the rest of uh, culture-assuming America. Uh, Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded, uh, came in at number six. I hate Nicki Minaj. You don't, you don't hate Nicki, Nicki Minaj. I don't hate well, Nicki Minaj. No, Nicki Minaj is good. She is good. She's just a little bit annoying to do the same thing over and over in every song. But I think she's actually a good rapper. So you, 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 you like Nicki Minaj? Mm hmm You know she writes all her own stuff? I don't even know what she does. She writes her all her own stuff. I, 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 I think she's an artist. I give her credit for being creative and, and original. Yeah, there's no one like, like her out there. Uh, who, who who's that pre who, who's that one she has beef with? I'm sure that woman will will claim that she's you know little done. Kim. It. Yeah, yeah, little Kim. Little Kim uh, says, "Hey, I came out with a you know gel pack on my titty. <laughs> that counts as being wild, right?" And everybody yeah. said, "No, little Kim, <laughs> nah." Yeah, uh, One Direction with Up All Night. This One Direction, I don't understand. Yeah, 
this is you can tell this is a PR driven. They bought their spot. Right, yeah. because all of a sudden I've started hearing One Direction's name on everybody's tongue, and uh, nobody is anybody really listening to anything they're doing. I've never heard of them until I looked at this Billboard chart. Someone wants to go live with us. Stan and, uh, Haney wants to go on. You got it. If you uh, joined us live on Spreecast.com slash user slash my control show, you could go live on oh the show Oh my god, too. this guy looks like my little brother. <laughs> I think this guy's too young to be on the show. What's up, Keanu? Hey, listen, man, I, do, I really do. I think you're too young to be on the show. How old are you? Did you just sneeze? <laughs> Are you listening to anything I'm saying? I think he has some stage fright. Are you clamming up on us? Why did you why did you put your <laughs> webcam request on and you're not saying anything? You're live on our show. Millions of people are watching. Is that your real <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Um uh... so Train is back with California thirty seven. Okay. Uh Train, train, I don't, I don't drops know. Drops a Jupiter in your hair. I don't know if I fully understand Train. I like Train. I think this Pat lead singer guy is uh, really good. Wow, so you're actually a fan of Train, huh? He's got something in a big way. He's a big time singer. You don't put him in the same category with Nickelback and Creed and no. Nick Train. Okay, okay. He's is he really? Does he have the balls to come back? It says he doesn't have a camera though. This is the camera's X'd out. Oh, okay. He's and we lost the chat. So this guy must have hacked us and destroyed our chat. Is that possible? Probably. Uh, Adele uh, is still in the top spots with her uh, 21 albums. You still tearing up the charts? Damn. Do you still love Adele, Nina? Hey, I think you should sign in again to Spreecast. Yeah, we're, we're, we're taking care of it. We're professionals. What? Uh, Just sign in again. Sign in again. What place is her? Uh, there you go. Four, three, four. She's in four. Jesus, she's yeah. still up there. Yeah. People love Adele. We see you know those pictures of Adele without makeup. Maybe if they, maybe if more people saw those pictures, they wouldn't be such fans of her. Oh please! What are you? Would that make her bigger fan? Why are you being such a superficial asshole? <laughs> uh, that's what that's what this show was all about. But I guess now uh, you're like a cop or something, and you're the the anti uh, opinion police. Uh, so this is going to make you very happy, Jer. Uh, with the number two slot, your favorite band of all time, Jason Mraz, uh, debuts uh, with his album Love is a Four-Letter Word. So he's at the number two spot. Does that shock you into happiness? Or did no! You know, what's up? Are you fucking kidding me? Opens up at number two, yeah? I didn't album. hear this list. That's bullshit. Uh-oh, you think it's number one? What the fuck was number one? Uh-oh, this isn't going to make you very happy, What was Jer. number one? Let me hear this shit. Lionel Richie with Tuskegee was number this one. This country album? Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Lionel Richie gone country beat Jason Mraz. I, listen, I don't want to sound gay. I don't want to mark out for okay. Okay. Jason Mraz and suck on his... Mr. A to Z, right? I don't want to suck Mr. A to Z's pee. Yeah. Mm. If, you, if you catch my drift oh. here. I'm sorry, honey, were you... Reimagining uh, Mr. A to Z? But that should have been number one. Didn't Lionel Richie's thing come out like several weeks yeah, ago? Yeah, it's been out for a while, yeah. I take offense to the name Tuskegee for his album. Oh, me I too. Think, yeah. I'm highly yeah. offended by that. Yeah. I don't even know what to say about this. On the other hand, love is a four-letter word. I mean, like, how can you not like that album title? How can I live real? in the same world? Yep. I live in the same world yep. as, as everybody else. And I think Jason Mraz, with normal young Americans... Yep. yep. Not everybody's got to have my taste in music. I like Jason Mraz. I don't like this new CD. You don't like it? But I like Jason Mraz. Yeah. I love his new CD. I think it sounds great. Uh, uh, I listen to it, but I love it. Does it? Yes. I think you and me need to sit down and do a Jason Mraz <laughs> review of that CD and argue over this because I'm a, I'm against this. Love is a four-letter word. You're I'm against, against it? the CD, yes. Yeah. It was not good. So can you blame the American public for buying a well, Lionel Richie proven yeah. pop superstar? Yeah. And I do blame America. I okay. can and I do. All right. M uh, Lionel Richie, number one 
Fuck you, America. That's what I'm willing to say. Fuck America. So we're going to end this episode with the, the fuck you, America, huh? Basically. Okay. Okay, Jerry. Honey, will you join in this? Fuck you, America. Oh, uh, I can't say that. I'm sorry. Are you chicken? <laughs> um, if you want to call me that... Are you afraid you'll be treated like, uh, what was that guy's name? Ted Nugent and the Secret Service will visit you? Um, I think they are. Uh oh. Um, oh, oh little, little behind the scenes. <laughs> Our household. <laughs> no, seriously, honey, can you come over here for me? I can get over there as soon as Eddie wins the show. I think Eddie almost killed you with that book right there. It was really mad. And you weren't leaving. Uh, yeah, I'm crazy. You guys are weird. I can't go back there until he ends the show. Alright, America, fuck off. <laughs>